Well, most of you would know what this symbol is connected to. And for those of you who don't, well, this symbol is connected to the Freemasons. Now, the Freemasons are a very secretive group. And due to this, there is a lot of speculation and conspiracy about this group. And a lot of it is actually disinformation. The Freemasons basically began around the 1300s. The late 1300s are the first time we can see any record of this group. And basically they were a group of Freemasons who were building the temples and the churches for the religious corporations and the religious institutes. And what happened was the Freemasons realised that the religious establishment was encoding all of their buildings and temples with certain information. And once the members of this Freemason group realised the truth, they decided to not rely on the religious establishment for information. They would create their own group and utilise this information to empower themselves and empower others who were also brought into this group. And this is why it is such a secretive organisation. Now, don't think that just because anybody joins the Freemasons that they have access to this knowledge. The only people that get access to this knowledge in the Freemasons is basically those that are at the 33rd degree. They are the only ones, the ones right at the top that have access to this information. And then I would actually suggest it's probably only a very select group of the people that make it to that level. This information is the same information that the Vatican has and the same information that the power elite have. This is why the number coding within this logo matches everything that is in the religious paintings, the alchemy drawings, and even what we see in ancient Egypt. It's all the same knowledge. And we can see this. First of all, we see we have God, symbolized by the eye in the triangle. So we have the Trinity represented by the triangle, and then we have the all-seeing eye that is representing God. This is Orion. This is the Orion Nebula, our God consciousness. And then we can see that emanating from God is this measure, this implement. Now, this is symbolic of the male. And this is symbolic of the information, the divine knowledge that the male contains within him being brought down and manifest with the divine male twin soul on the physical plane. Now this one here is the ruler and this is symbolizing the female. And then we see that there are two hands clasping. This is the male and the female and when they reunite with God consciousness, then they have access to information, divine knowledge, and this is symbolized by the G. Now, we also see some interesting numbers within these leaves on either side. Firstly, we actually have seven leaves and seven leaves on each side down the bottom. Now, this is symbolizing the seven gates back to God consciousness. And then we have six leaves on the top here either side. So we have these six leaves here representing the physical form because six represents the physical form. And this six representing the physical form of the female. But what's interesting is that we actually have one leaf that is behind the ruler. And when it actually peeks out on the other side, you could actually count that as a separate leaf. So if we do that, and this is sometimes... Well, actually, quite often we see this uh, repeated in a lot of this symbolism that they show the six, but then there is 
something else that symbolizes the six turning into a seven and we see the seven turning into an eight. We see this quite often within all the religious paintings. And so this is what we see here as well, the six turning into a seven. So the physical turning into the ethereal form because seven not only symbolizes the seven gates back to God consciousness, but also the ethereal body. And we see this quite clearly represented. We also see that if we take this six and seven and we add them together, we get 13. So we get 13 on this side and we get 13 on this side. And when we add 13 and 13 together, we get 26. And when we add two and six together, we get eight. And eight is the immortal soul, infinity. And eight is also infinite God energy. So we can see that there is a lot of information within these symbols, if you know what to look for. Now, for those that aren't aware, we also have the Order of the Eastern Star. Now, this is the group for the females because the males are the Freemasons and then the females, and they actually have to be related to a Freemason before they can be accepted into the Order of the Eastern Star. But the Order of the Eastern Star is the female group connected to Freemasonry. And they know the very same information. We can see a lot of it within their symbolism. We see the crown and the scepter. Now we see this in the Empress card. We see what looks to be like some sort of phallic symbol. And then we see the cup representing the female. So there is a lot of connecting symbolism within this logo. We also see five represented four times. We've got one, two, three, four. Well, that's 20. 20 is connected to the heart. And the female, when we see the Empress card, has the heart also shown and symbolized on that card. And this is because the female is more connected to the heart and the ethereal. And this is exactly what this symbol is showing also. So when you know what to look for, it's not hard to find the information. And like all organizations, you have your positive aspects and you have your negative aspects. And unfortunately, everything is infected. Everything in this time of lower consciousness Every institute, every agency, every single organization is infected with lower consciousness and the result of that lower consciousness, which is corruption, greed, negativity. And unfortunately, this is also the case with the Freemasons. They started off with good intentions, but like all things in these times, they are infiltrated and used to basically empower others at the expense of the masses. And this is exactly what the Freemasons group is about now. And as I said, lower Freemasons in the lower ranks wouldn't know the true information. It's only the very top that are ever given this knowledge. Very, very few people have this information. So anyway, I thought that that was really interesting. I just saw this cross my path and just saw a bit of information in here and thought I would just bring that to your attention. Now I will post the information about Freemasonry and the Order of the Eastern Star underneath and uh, you can check that out in more detail for yourself. Well, I'll leave it here guys and as always, peace out.